hello guys welcome back to a brand new video today today it is my uh, championship prediction for week 22 um you know i've done one last weekend uh for last weekend i should say um i've got to make an apology i didn't miss one fixture out but don't worry there's all 12 here this time i'll make sure of that so guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first one I'm going to try and predict is Sheffield United versus West Brom. High flying West Brom against an okay Sheffield United side. Um, you know, I'm expecting them to be in the playoffs within the next two to three years um, if they don't get automatically promoted. Um, and West Brom are possibly one of the favourites to come back up. Um, whether that does happen is remain to be seen. Um, as far as the game goes, I'm going to go with a 2-0 win for West Brom. The next one is Aston Villa versus Stoke. Old Premier League fixture. Um, you know, Stoke doing well on the go route there. Villa started to pick up performances under their new manager. Um, but as far as the game goes, I'm going to have to stick up for the away side again. And I'm going to go with a 2 0 win for that one. The next one is Birmingham versus Blackburn, or Blackburn versus Birmingham, I should say. Blackburn are at home, as you can tell behind me. Um, Blackburn doing okay under their new manager. Um, doing okay um, ever since they've been promoted. Birmingham are starting to pick up slowly. Um, you know, it's one of them things where. You buy players or you sack a manager and it don't work out for any other manager. Um, but as far as the game goes, I'm expecting a very boring nil-nil. The next one is Bolton versus Leagues. Very low Bolton side. Their players haven't been paid since November. You know, the stadium's going through many changes of names. So, does that mean Bolton will be going into administration? That's going to be an interesting one to see. Um, going up against a very high league side. Um, you know, top two. Um, you know, good manager, possibly promotion. Um, it's, it remains to be seen. Obviously, there's still a long way to go. Um, I think she's still got over 24 fixtures to play after this one. So it all can change anyway. Um, but as far as the game goes, I'm going to go with a 3-0 Leagues win. The next one is Hull versus Brentford. Hull has started to pick up from when they got relegated. Um, I can't see them getting promoted. Going up against a very good Brentford side. Um, you know, will Brentford be getting promoted within the next two to three years? That will remain to be seen. Um... But as far as the game goes, I'm going to go with the weight up with this one. And I'm going to go with a 2-0 win again. If all these 2 nils are right, I'll be surprised. Um, next one is Ittridge versus Wigan. Low flying Ittridge. Um, you know, bottom of the league. Struggling to stay up. Um... It's surprising when a manager goes after so long how teams can struggle. Going up against an OK Wigan side ever since they got promoted. Um, but with this game, I'm going to go with 3 0. Um, the next one is Preston versus Millwall. Um, Deepdale's not an easiest place to go for any team. Um, Millwall, you know, doing okay, um, but as far as the result goes, I'm going to go with a one-all scoreline for that one. The next one is QPR versus Middlesbrough. Um, you know, high flying Middlesbrough um, under Tony Pulis. QPR are doing okay, um, you know, ain't really got that promotion squad. But they ain't got the relegation squad either. I think they just fit in the table nicely come the end of the 46 games. Um, Middlesbrough, on the other hand, I'm considering them for playoff potential come the end. 
Um, but as far as the game goes, I'm going to go with the away side again, and I'm going to go with a 2-1 scoreline for that one. The next one is Warburton versus Reading. Now, Reading have had a dodgy couple of years ever, ever since reaching the playoffs for um, the Premier League. Uh, you know, under Yapstam, it's weird how Yapstam getting promotion and uh, near promotion, I should say, and then uh, you know struggling to start the next. Um, it, this one dodgy division. Um, so, um, but as far as the result goes, I'm going to go with a draw for this one, and I'm going to go with another one all. The next one is Swansea versus Sheffield Wednesday. You know, Swansea gone down. Ain't look like they're going to come back up anytime soon. Um, going up against an okay Sheffield Wednesday side. Sheffield Wednesday is another one of them teams where you go and push up playoff, um, playoff spots nearly three years in a row. I think they did three to two years, something like that. And then they're struggling to either get in the top ten. Um, you know... But as far as the game goes, I'm going to go with a Sheffield Wednesday away win, and I'm going to go with a 2-0 scoreline for that one. The next one is Norwich versus Bristol City, or Bristol City versus Norwich. Um, you know, Norwich high-flying, and Bristol City doing okay. I'm expecting them to be in the playoffs come May. Um, but... We're going to have to wait and see for that. But as far as the game goes, I'm going to go with a 2-1 Norwich win for that one. The next one is Derby versus Notch Forest. And it's the last one as well. Um, as I just said, Derby versus Nottingham Forest. Um, what, am I, what am I expecting? I'm expecting a Derby win. And I'm expecting them to get promoted within the next two to three years. Um, you know, Frank Lampard's done a brilliant job. First manager's job, first easy, uh, first not easy job to take. Um, being a Derby manager, but Derby fans expect a lot. Um, but as far as the result goes, I'm going with a three 0 Derby win. Anyway, guys, this my end of my um championship editions for week 22. My match preview will be uploaded on Thursday for these fixtures. For you that don't know what it is, it's a little bit of information about the fixtures that have been played in the past. And I'll give you a bit of information on that. Uh, it might be stuff you do know, it might be stuff you don't know. Um, literally, I surprise myself sometimes when I do some of this. Um, but anyway, guys, as I said, I'm going to end this video here. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.